During heavy downpours, people in this neighborhood keep a close eye on the weather. They also keep a close eye on this flood gauge. That's because Little Fossil Creek, when it rains, sometimes comes to their front door. Once it gets, starts getting past that point, that's when you kind of start panicking. Ronald Sims watched floodwaters get close to his front door, and just when the rain slowed down... We got a huge downpour that came in, and it started coming up over the bridge and started rising into the street, and from there we just watched it continue rising. As Sims dealt with rising water at home, emergency responders dealt with it all around North Texas. On Dana Drive in Haltom City, emergency crews helped the family out of this SUV stuck in flood waters. In Fort Worth on Hewlin Street, just south of I-30, an officer used flashing lights to warn people. Still, the driver in this small passenger car got stuck in water accumulated under the overpass. Officers in Dallas also used flashing lights to warn drivers on 635 and TI Boulevard West about flooding. During the heavy downpour, MedStar paramedics responded to 28 crashes linked to street flooding. They transported 20 people to the hospital. 15 of the crashes happened in locations with limited access for emergency vehicles. After flooding forced Ronald to leave home for safety, he warns driving through high water can be just as dangerous. It's not something that you want to play around with because it can quickly take your vehicle and cost you your life. In Haltom City, I'm Scoop Jefferson.